What happened to Paul Phoenix? Going from consistently being one of the most popular characters in every Tekken game to this, Paul was the number one most played character for almost all of Tekken 7's lifetime, so it's insane to see him currently sitting in the very middle of the pack, sitting as the 15th most popular character. I honestly would have been surprised if he was outside of the top 5, let alone this. So what happened here? Why did such a popular and beloved character seemingly vanish in Tekken 8? Let's find out. Since the original release of Tekken in 1994, Paul has appeared in every Tekken game to date, and his popularity has rivaled that of the series' protagonists. You can't have Tekken without Paul. Throughout the life of Tekken 7, Paul sat as the most popular character online, for various reasons. The nature of the character was always very enticing for newcomers. Easy toolkit to understand, very simple to pick up, and giving a big reward with his signature damage. What's not to like? His only weakness was his subpar poking, but let's be honest, do you think the average Tekken player cares at all about poking? Probably not. Paul was a consistent high tier throughout Tekken 7, and there are plenty of other easy characters who are far better, so we can roll out his popularity just being because he was overpowered. People just love this guy. So surely this legion of Paul players who are leading Tekken 7 would be excited to see Paul in the new game, and you already know the answer is no. Hell, even I've barely played him in Tekken 8, despite him being one of my mains in 7. So let's talk about the elephant in the room. Paul's new design. His new hair has been divisive to say the least. Most people hate it, and it's pretty easy to see why. It certainly looks goofy, and a huge number of community figureheads and content creators have been quick to say that the hair is the sole reason for his drop in popularity. And if I'm being honest, I didn't buy that. The hair is silly, sure, but you can change it very easily, literally by pressing two buttons in the select screen. And Paul's classic look has never looked better. I guess the only thing you can't change is the UI, but I feel like saying thousands of people are dropping the character because of the tiny head next to the health bar is a bit of a stretch. I immediately thought that there had to be more of a reason than this, so I decided to investigate further. I asked myself, why did I stop playing the character? I didn't consciously make the decision to drop this guy in Tekken 8, I just kind of naturally gravitated towards other characters. It certainly wasn't because of the hair, so why was it? To solve this mystery, I decided to play Tekken 8 Paul, a lot of him, and after getting chainsawed, azucenad, and explosioned, a lot, I feel like I figured it out. Paul has been left behind by the developers, at least compared to some other popular characters. As weird as this might sound, through playing Paul, I didn't feel like I was playing Tekken 8. It just felt like I was playing Paul, the same as he's always been. Sure, he has some fancy new heat engagers, a couple new moves, even a new stance. He certainly has new stuff, but I just couldn't shake the feeling that it was just Paul, the same as he's always been. I feel like coming into the Tekken 8 system, Paul was among the worst to transition. He just doesn't feel as flashy as almost every other character in the game, and while that might not matter from a competitive perspective, for casuals who make up the bulk of the online player base, it absolutely does. Sure, he has the Death Fist. That's always been a pretty flashy and satisfying move to hit, but I just don't feel like it's enough in a game where all these characters are doing all these crazy new combos and crazy new moves. Paul's kit also feels pretty outdated. He still has a legacy 10 frame punish from Tekken 1, just a simple 1-2. Lots of his other basic moves feel like this. They just feel old and, again, outdated. And again, while that doesn't matter from a competitive standpoint, it makes casuals less likely to choose him. Every character is doing crazy stuff now. Crazy new effects and animations, crazy new overpowered options and strings. And then there's Paul, who is strong, don't get me wrong, but he's still Paul. Pretty much the same as he's always been. Sorry to interrupt the video, but if you guys are enjoying this and want to support me, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'm not big enough to get sponsors yet, so this is the best way you can support my dreams of hopefully one day doing this as a job. It's free to do, and you can always change your mind later. Sorry again for the interruption, and let's get back to the video. People who played him in 7, like me, were probably drawn to other cool characters who feel amazing, and feel like you're really playing Tekken 8. Not to mention that Paul's playstyle is pretty basic, and that makes the character very hard, especially against all the crazy stuff going on in this game. Looking for a counter hit with down forward 2 and backsway 4 and applying basic 50-50s is just less fun for the average player than all this other crazy stuff. The character is simple to a fault, and that's just making him not only difficult, but a lot less popular. Combine all this stuff with him essentially having nothing to do in the story mode, and it's pretty easy to see why newcomers are just not picking this character. Why would they? 
Obviously, I don't have data on this, but I wouldn't be surprised if only like one in every 50 or maybe even a hundred new players actually decided to pick Paul. Again, take all this with a grain of salt. This is pure speculation. For the older players watching, take away your legacy bias for a sec. If you are brand new to the series, would you really pick Paul after seeing all the other crazy things these other characters are doing in this game? It's impossible to say for sure, but I'm pretty sure I wouldn't. This is a new era of Tekken. While Tekken 5 to 7 were mostly the same, just focusing on refining small things, Tekken 8 is a whole new game with tons of new systems. And the more I think about it, the more I feel like Paul is still kind of trapped in those older games. Again, that's not to say that he doesn't benefit from the new systems. The heat system is pretty great for him. The empowered death fists are crazy, but something about him just feels slightly outdated by Tekken 8 standards. It's hard to say exactly what. Maybe they would have benefited by giving him new, flashier animations on his generic tools or something? I'm really not sure what the solution here is, but the player data definitely agrees with me. Something feels off, far more than just his hair. Maybe some new players who have no previous attachment to the character can let us know how they feel about him. That'd be pretty interesting. But now, let's compare Paul to another character who is similar in many ways, and that is Kazuya Mishima himself. Kazuya is another character who feels pretty similar to Tekken 7, and remains more or less the same, but has a couple huge advantages over Paul. Number one, and most obviously, he's the main antagonist of the story mode, and he's Kazuya freaking Mishima. He's always going to attract tons of new players. In addition to this, he's been made far more accessible for new players with a new Demon Paw attack, and to a much lesser extent, getting free electrics during heats. These simple changes made him a lot more accessible for new people who just liked him in the story and wanted to pick him up. And honestly, Kazuya is way more flashy and cool looking than Paul is now. It's easy to see why Kazuya remains around the top 5. Paul just can't keep up with all this new crazy stuff going on in this game. And while part of me wishes the developers did more to modernize him to increase his popularity, another part of me really respects their decision to keep Paul as Paul. They want to have a legacy character in each game, and if Paul needs to fit that niche, then I can't blame them for making that decision. And yeah, that's what I discovered about Paul Phoenix. I had a lot of fun playing him for this video, and would definitely recommend you guys give him a shot. But unfortunately, as more crazy DLC characters come out, I can only see him going down in popularity. Unless they give him crazy buffs in a future patch and he becomes overpowered. It's really a shame to see a character fall from popularity this much, and I honestly doubt we'll see him much in pro play either. He's too hard and too simple. I mean, even in the end of Tekken 7, he was never a popular character in competitive play. But hey, if you love Paul Phoenix and have been playing him for decades and refuse to pick another character, then you have my utmost respect. Keep doing you. But what do you guys think about this? Do you guys think the only reason Paul has fallen off is because of the hair and think I'm completely wrong about all my other reasons? Do you think there are other reasons that I didn't even mention? Let me know. I'll be down there in the comments chatting with you guys as always. I'm really trying to improve my scripted video essay content, so if you guys have any advice or criticism, I'd really appreciate it. Let me know. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe to support me, and I'll see you guys later. Take it easy.